The CEO of Airbus says airlines have managed to survive, quote, a life-threatening situation during the pandemic. Now, he said the entire industry has been on a roller coaster as carriers try to rejig their orders for planes. Richard spoke to him ahead of this week's Airlines for Europe Summit and asked him how hard it's been to really manage his way through that chaos. Uh, it's been a roller coaster for the industry, for the OEMs, but as well for the suppliers. Um, they were, we were all together in a very steep ramp up in 18, 19, beginning of 2020. Then we had to do a very fast and challenging ramp down, uh, being at a much lower rate now than we were before and all the adaptation that, that comes with it. And now we have to ramp up again. And uh, we think it's a lot about anticipation, about uh, planning, about uh, scheduling, onboarding, recruiting people, uh, training, uh, and be ready on time. That's the reason why we have tried to be as transparent as we can moving forward, giving indication of what we think will happen. I know that you've worked with airlines rescheduling delivery dates, particularly on the on the wide-bodied uh, equipment. But how many airlines have either gone bust and left you with planes, or have simply said, "Guillaume, I'm not taking them. Do what you like." We've had many, many different situations, uh, depending on the airlines, and also over time. Uh, it's fair to say that the airlines have been and are in a very difficult environment. Uh, it's sometimes uh, life-threatening for the airlines. Uh, but I would say, generally speaking, uh, we're able to find solutions, to sit down, to look at the situation as it is, and work hard to find outcomes that are manageable, more or less manageable for all parties. But it's been a very difficult uh, period of time. It will continue to be. And it uh, takes a lot of work, a lot of negotiation, a lot of creativity as well to find a solution that can work. It reminds me of the old, you know, the old joke about I owe the bank uh, 500. That's uh, my problem. I owe the bank 50 million. That's the bank's problem. I mean, an airline that's, that's got a large order book with you there is a vested interest on both sides to sort that out, isn't there? Nobody wants to push the other to the brink. That's right. But what we have observed as well is uh, the trust of the majority, if not all airlines, that there will be a recovery, that they will need modern planes moving forward, that it will be a tough competition in the market. And to be equipped to compete, they need planes. And therefore, as I have said already a couple of uh, times uh, before, uh, we thought uh, entering into the pandemic, there would be more cancellations than what we have actually uh, observed. In this case, we also take the opportunity to look at the environment. Um, I know you have a very ambitious plans where the environment's concerned. How far have those plans had to be adjourned, not cancelled, but just put off, delayed, moved to the future whilst you're dealing with the crisis? Net zero, everybody's working towards it, and aviation continues to be one of the most criticised uh, um, sectors. Yeah. I believe, and, and the team around me believes, that um, this mega trend of uh, environment, global warming, and the pressure that comes on many industries, including aviation, is very strong, will not slow down. Um, and we have not, um, we have not uh, reduced our ambitions and our speed when it comes to environment, to net zero, to the decarbonization of aviation. So we have trimmed a lot of projects. We have reduced our capex, our, our expenses. But on the R&T side, on, on the technologies, we have maintained the pace. The crisis. What have you learned about yourself and the way you manage your company? Because I, I was talking, I was talking to um, Carson Spur recently, and I was talking to Ed Bastian, and they were both telling me that there were days when they woke up to see the money flowing out, and they said that there was an existential moment in their cases for, for the company, and and they had to work and they had to draw upon their own resources. So, what have you learned about yourself? Never mind your team, yourself. I would say, as part of the team, ah. and uh, we we have learned that we can do more than what we think. 
and probably in crisis, under pressure, uh, when the situation is really complex, we, I, we can do more than what we think.